Thank you very much, Bevi. Uh, good evening, members of the media. Um, I think uh, football is a game of moments. In one moment, we had chances to, to win the game very early. In one moment, we went to sleep. In the other moment, we gave away a goal. So I think uh, some are very scary moments. Uh, but the most important thing is how you handle those scary moments. And I think uh, we dealt with the scary moment of first half in terms of performance and also giving away uh, a goal in the critical phase. Um, going into second half, um, it was a very important half-time talk in terms of uh, what needs to happen, um, whether we have to up our intensity or whether we have to up our attitude, whether we have to up our chances and also uh, being more on the ball. So I think uh, the second half was uh, a very good half because we played with intention and playing with intention we were more on the ball and being more on the ball, uh, the aggression in, in, in creating opportunities and converting those opportunities. One must just say congratulations Kaza Chiefs. I think the players applied themselves. Um, it was a very important game for us. A very important game for us after um, our past matches where we could not win. So a win, it's uh, it's very important, and we are celebrating this win. But uh, in the celebration, we are looking forward to the next game, which will also be a home game and another difficult game that we have to prepare for. But for tonight, um, we celebrate, we congratulate uh, Kaiser Chiefs and the players. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. Let us go for it. Let the mic uh, do the talking there. Your name as well as the question. It's because you adjusted it, remember? It didn't need adjustment. Coach, um, so what is the conditions on the issue today? Um, how do you make sure that you keep this momentum going? What well, we've seen before, team only one game and losing the uh... Yeah, I think uh, it, it is more of a, a build up. Um, if ever we look back into the last three matches we played in terms of the application and the, the implementation of our tactical approach, I think um, it's, it's, we, are, we are progressing in that regard. And even today, um, as much as we considered first, I think it showed a lot of resilience in terms of coming back and getting ourselves into the equalizing goal and also leading and ultimately winning the game. So, like I said, it's a game of moments, and the most important thing is how you address those moments. There will be another uh, new game on, on Tuesday, and we have to go back and prepare for that game. And I think every game has got its own plan, because uh, you are playing against different coaches, different sets of players, but at the same time, you need to, to work on your team and uh, depend more on the strengths of your team. I think um, it's a good win. Um, after we, we, we did not win in the past uh, games. So the most important thing is uh, uh, the attitude, the confidence, the courage that we showed today. We are taking it into the next game. Coach, um, I was surprised you took off Castillo. He just got a goal. Uh, why was that decision to take, to take him off? And also, you also told um, Tetras just appeared because every time when his name was let down before the game, and just Firstly, I think it was important for us to manage our players because we know where we come from, how many games they have played, how many minutes, um, the accumulation of the lactic acid, and also um, it is not only on the physical side that uh, you look at the performance of the player, you also look at the mental side in terms of his decision making, especially um, how, how many times he will give away the ball and also um, how many times he will be able to track back and help us uh, defensively, how many times he will be going in attack and uh, um, creating and scoring goals. So I think uh, uh, Castillo, it was more of a tactical uh, change that we needed to, to, to do because it is not like um, uh, we want to 
take out our players off the field on a stretcher. It is more of uh, the, the management of the player uh, mentally and physically. So I think um, the players that came in did a very good job because um, we are we are registered as Kedachi's players. So each one of us as players has got a role to play. And whenever you are called in to play that role, I think uh, the, the players that uh, came in uh, carried their roles uh, very well. When it comes to Teto, I think um, um, we all know the, the quality we have in, in Teto. Uh, that is the main reason why the club uh, brought him to, to come and uh, add value in terms of his qualities. I think um, you can tell how talented he is. Um, he's a leader uh, on the pitch. Um, he's a fighter, uh, very intelligent in terms of his tactical understanding. Uh, coming in today, he gave us balance. Uh, he gave us what we needed, especially after we realized that we needed some, some first legs uh, uh, coming in. So I think uh, the overall performance of the players, uh, uh, they did well, and we congratulate them for uh, a big effort that they had to put into this game after playing back-to-back -back three matches. Depending on the question, it's likely that it will be the last one. Uh, <laughs> okay, <laughs> uh, congratulations on the win tonight. Uh, earlier on, you spoke of the game that is categorized by the moment. So, if you can tell us, what was your core moment that you won the game tonight? tonight? Was it a substitute that you made, or was it a team talk that you did during the halftime? I think uh, we came into this game fully aware that uh, it's a game to win. Um, um, every game we play, we, we look at it to be a cup game. And I think um, after losing a cup game, we had a chance to redeem ourselves coming into this game as a cup game. And uh, when you look at uh, the team coming uh, back onto the pitch in the second half, uh, the mentality was that of a cup game. And we felt that uh, we have an opportunity uh, to win this game. And even before we made the substitutions, I think uh, the halftime talk um, went out very well. Uh, the players realized that uh, this is one game they have to put uh, more effort into it. Um, if we played at 60% or 70% in the first half, we said let's get more uh, into what we, we did in the first half. And I think they responded very well. And on the day, uh, everything went out for us. And then we went very hard for the goals. And then we are celebrating the two goals that won us the game. We'll give you the last one. Thank you, Yes. Uh, good evening, coach. Uh, congratulations on the win. Uh, seeing some sort of fake media. Uh, coach, uh, I think you might have raised a few eyebrows when we saw your starting 11. Uh, we saw Brandon back for you. Um, considering everything that, that has happened over the last week and everything that's around Brandon at the moment, I'm very interested to know how much of psychological mental work do you have to make with him personally uh, to ensure that he's match ready because he's, he's, he's clearly your number one at the moment. I think the most important thing is that uh, he's, um, he's a leader. Um, we are talking of, uh, of a captain. But um, uh, we need to thank the club, uh, because currently the club has employed a mental coach and he's doing wonders with our players. And at the same time, the mental coach uh, also works very closely with the tactical element of the game. And when it comes to Brendan, um, we have had situations like this before. We have had moments where we lost the game. We have had moments where he saved us. And in terms of his quality, and being the leader of the team. Uh, we stood by him, the goalkeeping department, support from Itimile Kune, support from Bruce uh, Vuma, support from Obonte Malefe, and the whole technical team. I think uh, what is very important is that uh, not every game you'll have a good game, and mistakes do happen in football. And if ever we can always count on the mistakes, we'll end up not having anybody to play for the team. And I think uh, we, we, are, we, are, we are very proud of his performance today. Um, apart from what happened last week, um, those are the things that will happen in the game. And uh, we all know what happened last week. Uh, but the most important thing, it was for us to stand together, to give him the confidence, 
and also uh, to prepare him uh, for this game on the physical side and on the technical side. Because when you look at it, uh, the same ball that ended up in goals last week, we played the same ball. And they have been doing very well in dealing with such a, a kickoff uh, um, that we are using whenever we have uh, the ball uh, during kickoff. So I think it was just a mistake. Uh, but uh, being that mistake, uh, how many times a striker will miss chances, which happens to be a mistake, but you always keep that striker on the pitch. So I think what is important is for us, uh, we are very united as a team. We are there for each other. There is so much brotherhood in the team. There is so much social cohesion in the team. And there is a very clear technical understanding that we are working on. And uh, well done to the boys for winning today. Congratulations, uh, coach, and thank you, members.